welcome to Cholum Academy. In this uh, most unusual of years, we are unable to present you with our normal transition process, beginning with the open evening uh, for year six into seven parents and your children, and of course the school tours, which uh, are such an integral part of our transition uh, exercises in the autumn term. So we are very, very keen to present you with a view of the school, which will help you in making a decision for yourselves and for your children on where they wish to go to school next September, in September uh, 2021. And we have to think about how we're going to do that in a slightly different way uh, to usual, because we aren't able to welcome you here in person. So you will find on the website a range of uh, resources which we, we hope will help you make up your mind and answer your questions about Chobham. There's this uh, talk from me. You will find a, a video, a general video showing Chobham uh, as it is day to day and, and the kind of uh, experiences and activities that go on in the school. And you'll also find a short video prepared by a group of our new Year 7 students who have only been in the school uh, for two or three weeks, which gives you an insight into their experiences, the experiences which your sons and daughters can look forward to uh, next year in 2021. So hopefully, uh, in combination, we have uh, attempted to, 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 to give you coverage, to give you an insight into the school, and to compensate, at least in part, for you not being able to visit us uh, this autumn. Now, moving on to the choice that you are about to make, choosing a secondary school is, is a really big deal. You've, uh, you've got one chance at it, uh, and you need to make it uh, a choice made on the best possible information. And you need to think very carefully about the kind of school where your son or daughter is going to feel comfortable, is going to feel happy and is going to thrive. And, and also uh, you need to look at the choice of secondary school as a seven year journey. Your children starting secondary school in 2021, were they coming to Chobham Secondary, we would hope and anticipate they would be with us all the way until 2028. It's a long time. And so it's a choice uh, not to be made in haste, and it's a choice which I think is to be made in partnership uh, with, with your child uh, to make sure that all of you in the family are as reassured and as confident as you can be uh, about the choice um, that you are making. Now, now at Chobham, we take that responsibility very seriously. Uh, we are never complacent about uh, the fact that lots of people want to come here. That's great for us. We really appreciate it, but it's not something we ever take for granted. We know that every application to Chobham has to be earned and that every parent and every year six student needs to be convinced and needs to be shown that this school actually is the best place for them. Uh, to, to complete their secondary education. And every year that's what we set out to do. Now, as well as the videos that I've referred to, as well as me talking to you now, uh, the main factors that we want you to consider when you are making your decision is what is this school really like? What kind of experience will my child have if they go there? What kind of achievements will my child make and have when they're at Chobham Academy, what kind of progress can I expect them to make? Now at the centre of our school, as of any school, is learning. We are very dedicated to our students' learning, we are extremely keen and enthusiastic about learning and we recognise that learning takes a variety of forms and that students learn in a variety of ways. Our task is to give your children inspiration and structure and targets and goals to enable them to learn well. We are interested in them as learners. We want them to be able to learn flexibly, quickly, 
with uh, an interest and curiosity, a genuine curiosity in what they're doing and an enjoyment, even a love of learning. And that is our primary aim. With that comes the subject knowledge and understanding, which is much easier to achieve if you're actually enthused and supported and you enjoy what you're doing. So at the heart of Chobham is learning. We want our students to learn well. Whatever they go on to do after school, the fact that they have learned well with us will stand them in good stead. Alongside, or probably moving on from learning would be a better way of phrasing it, is achievement and academic outcomes. This school has been extremely successful over the years in its academic outcomes. Young people who come to Chobham tend not only to fulfil their potential, as measured by how well they were achieving and predicted uh, for their examinations on arrival, they actually exceed their potential. Children coming to Chobham do better than was expected of them when they arrived here. And that's what's called in, in education, as I'm sure you're aware, adding value. Chobham adds value to young people's performance. At GCAC, we do that. And at post-16, increasingly, we do that too. This is an outstanding school. And we take very seriously our responsibility to equip your children with the currency they will need to go out into the world and be successful at university and in employment and part of that currency a large part of that currency is the examination grades they take along to potential universities and to potential employers and our aim is to support all of your children in a way in which they feel safe in which they feel secure in which they feel confident having all of those emotions all of those feelings and achieving as highly as they can. So they leave here with a set of results which really does them credit. We do place the social aspect of school life at the forefront of what we do too. So alongside learning goes social. Arguably, well, definitely indeed, the two overlap to a great extent, but we want students who attend Chobham to be responsible citizens. We want them to achieve social development alongside academic development. Uh, we have failed if students leave here with great exam results, but with no matching equivalent social development in terms of their confidence, in terms of their view of society and their willingness to actually take part as active citizens, in terms of the way they look at the world and they view themselves as important citizens and responsible citizens within that world and we go to great lengths not just through our lessons but through our house system through us through our student leadership structure which has uh, been renamed this year the youth leadership system which is very exciting and we're really looking forward to getting going with during 2021 so it will all be in place uh, and ready for your uh, sons and daughters should they join us uh, next year and through the trips, the visits, the enhancements to the curriculum in terms of speakers and visitors that we have as part of our daily life at Chobham. Now, obviously, uh, some of those activities are a little curtailed at present, but we are being flexible. We are endeavouring to do much more virtually. Our visitors are virtual visitors. Many of our trips at the moment are virtual trips but we are being creative and relentless in our desire to make sure that our students get a broad social experience, whatever the external factors and challenges we face. I think it's quite tempting at the moment for schools to, to button down and to focus on a narrow range of objectives because of the external pressures we're under. But at Chobham, we think that's wrong. We feel that we must continue to do the very best we can to broaden our offer, to broaden the opportunities for our young people and to make sure that their social development is really at the heart of what we do. A few words about the future. Very difficult for us to predict what is going to happen during the course of your children's secondary education. Very difficult to predict what kind of world they will be moving into when their secondary education 
is complete. It's only a few years away, but not just in terms of what has happened and is happening now uh, in this country uh, today and into the next few months, but in terms of changes in technology, changes in patterns of employment, changes in the environment. These things will all impact our world during the time that your sons and daughters are in secondary school and they will leave secondary school into what will probably be a more uncertain world than the one they are living in today. What do we as a school offer? What can we do about that? What we can't do is predict where they're going to be going and what they're going to be doing with any degree of certainty. What we can do and do do at Chobham is endeavour to provide them with a set of skills and attitudes which will stand them in good stead to be the citizens and the leaders of the future, whatever circumstances they find themselves in. We want them to be leaders. We want them to be confident. We want our students to be able to lead a team and also be a member of a team. We want them to be able to learn quickly to understand well, to know what to do when they face challenges in their learning, when they get stuck, when they face a problem, and to move through and beyond those challenges. We want them to get on with new people and know how to set about doing that. We want them to be the people in our society who will go on to forge the future in terms of their own agendas and their own ambitions and hopefully make a better world than the one we have today. Now that's ambitious, but that's what we seek to do at Chobham. We have fantastic young people, and if we can help them to develop some of those qualities, some of those attitudes, and move them only a partially along the life path that they have chosen for themselves, then that is our desire. That's what we will aim to do. So hopefully, by the end of their seven years here, all of your sons and daughters will be equipped with a set of skills, attitudes and qualifications which will stand them in good stead for their lives beyond school. So hopefully what I have said and what you will see elsewhere on this section of the website will give you a good indication of what life at Chobham is like and a good insight into how our students are and behave around the school in their lessons and in their out of lesson time. Any further questions you have, and there will be many I'm sure, you can post on the website, you'll see the section where you can do that, and we will endeavour to answer them as quickly as possible. And if you should choose to join us at Chobham, we're really looking forward to meeting you face to face in due course and to establishing a relationship with you uh, over the next few months in preparation for the start of our next year seven in September 2021. So thank you for listening in. It's been lovely to talk to you and I hope to meet many of you in person soon. Thank you.